So we're gonna get started with the first layer. I have here some Greek yogurt cream cheese. Now if you can't find Greek yogurt cream cheese, that's okay. You can use any kind of light or organic cream cheese and you just wanna get it at room temperature so softened. And I have eight ounce package here that's just been softened up. And I like to look um, particularly for Greek yogurt cream cheese versus just regular because it's a little bit higher in protein and it's a little bit better for you. Then I have one cup of plain Greek yogurt. And what I like to do is in any recipe that calls for cream cheese, swap out one eight ounce package with one cup of Greek yogurt. And that's a great way to save calories and add some protein to the dish. So this Greek yogurt is actually where we're gonna get our protein in this dish. And like I said, what I love is the protein fills you up. So you're not looking for more things to munch on and it really satisfies you. Then to this, we're gonna add two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. And that gives it that salty, cheesy flavor that you like. You may not know that you like it, but the Parmesan is what you like. And then one half teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And I like using Italian seasoning because it's really just a blend of basil and oregano. So you have really all the pizza Italian flavors just mixed right in into one seasoning. Then we're gonna add one can of, or jar, of pizza sauce. So it's a 15 ounce can. So you could also use any kind of marinara sauce. You could use crushed tomatoes is delicious in this. And you know, I have to be honest, I am not really a sports fan. I mean, here I am cooking for a sports day and I'm not one to really sit there and watch the game. But I've learned that sports games can be really fun because it's more about the food and the friends to me. And I love that fellowship and that time with my friends. So really any reason or excuse that I can get together with my friends is an awesome thing for me. So I really enjoy it because even though I'm not cheering on necessarily a team, we live in Michigan, so I'm always cheering on Go Blue, <laughs> just because I have to. But even though I'm not necessarily cheering on a team, I love to just be with my friends and usually I pick whatever side my husband's on. So it's fun to just do that and root on his favorite team with him. So I'm gonna pour this into a pie pan, but you could do any eight or nine inch baking dish. It doesn't have to be exact as far as the size. And you could give this a really good stir, but I like it to have just kind of the texture. You could also add diced tomatoes in this just for a little more texture. Then we're gonna top it. And this is what really makes it a pizza dip. It has mozzarella cheese on top, so it's gonna get melty and gooey, and it's only one cup of cheese. So for this entire recipe, if you have even a fourth of the dip, a little bit is gonna go a long way. So we have our mozzarella here, just sprinkle it on top. And the nice thing too about this dip is it has the Parmesan, it has the cream cheese in there, it has the Greek yogurt, so it's gonna be really creamy and flavorful, even though there's only one cup of cheese. And then this is the fun part, this is my favorite, is the toppings. What I like to do is I like to top it with my personal favorite pizza toppings. So there's pepperoni, there's bell pepper, there's olives, and you might be thinking, pepperoni, that's not healthy. But there's actually really good swaps and choices for pepperoni available today. So what I would look for when you're gonna pick any kind of pepperoni, let's say, is look for organic, look for nitrate-free, um, non-cured, those are all really good terms to look for because it just means that it's not filled with all of the GMOs and all of the other preservatives and junk. So that's something good to look for. Also, turkey pepperoni is a lighter option. So turkey pepperoni is a lot lower in calories than traditional pepperoni and a lot less fat too. So they taste just as great. I give turkey pepperoni to Maddie and Sean on their pizza. They don't even know the difference, and trust me, Sean is a pizza connoisseur, so he would know if something was altered there. And so all you wanna do is you wanna take a fourth cup of turkey pepperoni, and then you wanna stack them, because that makes it really easy. It's just to stack them, and then cut them once, and then turn them and give them one more cut down the middle. Or you could sit there and dice each one, but I mean, this is way quicker. And then we're gonna top our pizza dip. And this is where kind of all the layers come in. You got your, your base layer, you have your 
cheese, and then you have your pizza toppings. And you can see how good that already looks. I mean, I could eat it like this. You could eat it like this, but trust me, it's better baked. And then we have some black sliced olives, and this is just a can, a four ounce can of black sliced olives. So really simple. And that's what I like on my pizza. I would also put broccoli on this because I love broccoli, but I have a feeling that the guys won't love broccoli as much as I do. And this is for guys. And I don't know what it is, but when you think about game day food, you typically just think of junk food. That's like your automatic thought, right? You just think it's junk food, it's guy food. They're not gonna like anything healthy. But the great thing is I don't know any guy that wouldn't eat a pizza dip that looks like this. Now, again, this is all according to your preference with toppings, but here I have a green bell pepper, and that's something that I think most people like on their pizza as well. So we're gonna top it with just a little bit of diced green pepper. To cut that, you can see I just cut the top off and then got the stem out, and then I got the seeds right out when I just pulled it out. So that's a really easy way of cutting a pepper. Then you cut it in half so you have a stable base, and you cut it each piece down the middle. Now I'm gonna dice up just one of these slices because I don't want it to be overly done up in green bell pepper. So we're just gonna do just a little bit here. And what I also would like to do is to do something like mushrooms or pineapple. Really the sky's the limit as far as toppings for this. But like I said, since we're making it for friends, it's not about me, we're gonna try and make it a a crowd pleaser for everybody and just kind of go light and be a little bit safe with the toppings. So we're gonna do our green bell pepper on there and that looks perfect. And then we're gonna pop this in the oven. It's gonna bake at 425 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes.